It's six o'clock. This is West Country Live. Tonight on West Country Live, the king of pop thrills the West Country. Michael, you got a message for Exeter? I love you. I love you. I love you very much. <laughs> Welcome to another star-studded West Country Live. The undisputed king of pop, Michael Jackson, has arrived in the West Country. The international superstar was greeted by hundreds of fans at St David's Station in Exeter, and in the next few minutes he'll be making a speech to thousands more at Exeter City Football Ground. Well, with new club chairman Yuri Geller and world-famous magician David Blaine alongside him, it's produced a near-capacity crowd. So live now to St James's Park and Mark Tyler. Mark. Well, surreal is how club officials describe this visit, and they're absolutely spot on. Plenty of cynics, myself included, who said this trip would never happen, but we were all wrong. New club chairman Yuri Geller has delivered what he promised, and in just over ten minutes' time, Michael Jackson will appear on the stage behind me. Fans have come from all over the world, and hundreds were at St David's Station for his arrival in the city this afternoon. If you didn't believe he was coming, decide for yourself right now. Backed by Yuri Geller, this was no illusion. Security, arranged by North Devon's martial arts expert, Matt Fidesz, was naturally high. It was just a small crowd at first, everyone keen to avoid a repeat of what had happened earlier at Paddington, where he'd been knocked to the ground by fans. Although no one was quite fully prepared for what happened next. Fans that had paid £100 a ticket to be on the same train swarmed around his limo. And as far as they were concerned, it was all well worth it. He's got really pale skin and he looks quite frail, but he was cool. He just right when he came out so we could see him for a second before the security guards jumped in. Yeah, it's kind of like how you see him on TV, but not obviously more covered up and a little bit more security around him. Buses were laid on to the football ground, while organisers had hoped to keep the next part of his trip a secret. Not a chance. A police presence on Cathedral Green had given the game away as he headed for a brief rest in Exeter's oldest hotel. And he spoke briefly to a camera. I love you. I love it. There really is no escape for a superstar of his magnitude and following. This fan from Southern Ireland has been chasing him all week. You can't miss an opportunity like this. After security problems in London, Yuri Geller was delighted by the efforts of Devon and Cornwall police. No way you can compare the police here to London. I was so disappointed, very disappointed. They almost, Michael was almost killed. A man relieved that this bizarre event is finally coming to fruition. Richard Lawrence for West Country News. Would that be good? Well, whether you like his music or not, there's no denying the pure box office appeal of Michael Jackson. He won't be singing here today. He'll make a three-minute speech before magician David Blaine, the man who stood on a pole, does a trick or two. And we'll have it live and exclusive for you in just over ten minutes. Thanks very much indeed, Mark.